time to do a delicious brisket. Let's go in with that uh, Polliner Pilsner, the American Pitmaster from Arnie Tex brisket rub, and my scimitar. We're gonna use this scimitar today to do the brisket trimming. With that being said, guys, let's get into this uh, sharpener, this Bavarian edge tool. You can run your knife anywhere from like a couple of, you know, two to three to four swipes. Get Keep that edge up. Beautiful edge on this thing. Look at that. That's right, guys. That helps the channel. Thank you for that. This is what we're working with. Uh, prime brisket. We're right under 19 pounds. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get this thing trimmed up. I've had it in the fridge for about a good hour. Got it semi slushy, not frozen. Just very, very cold. Let's just put it that way. Uh, just shaping it up here and, and taking some of this fat off. I will not waste those trimmings. I will use them in a future video. I will put them in the refrigerator to add to my correction. I've got plenty of brisket trimmings that I am collecting <laughs> uh, for future sausage videos. Um, maybe some burgers or something like that, but we'll see. Uh, better than bouillon, roasted beef, light layer for my binder. I love the uh, bark that this stuff produces. I always use it on brisket, always. And the only other thing I'm going to uh, apply to this brisket is Arnie Tex Brisket Rub. It smells fantastic. I can't wait to try this delicious cooked prime brisket. And that's a close-up of the finished product. And I just wanted to show you guys. I'm going to go ahead and open up this app here uh, and set the cooker to 225. Also, I'm going to refill the hopper with more of Royal King brand Mesquite Blend pellets. It's a mixture of mesquite and oak. Okay. Um, I've put this cooker to the test recently on several hot cooks, and it has performed flawlessly. So I'm very excited to see what this thing can do on a low and slow overnight cook while I'm sleeping. Because I like my sleep because it keeps me looking young and youthful. So the cooker is set up to 225. Here's what the brisket looks like after it's been in the refrigerator for eight hours, sitting on a countertop for one hour before I'm placing it into the Brawl King Crown 500 pellet smoker. And I will use the meat probes that it came with. One in the point and one in the flat. And yes, in case you're wondering, and if you're wanting to ask, I always cook my briskets in my pellet smokers, fat side up, baby. Fat side up. 7.49 p.m. on a Friday night. Let's go ahead and open that app back up and set uh, target temps for the meat probes. And on this particular one, I'm just going to set the target temp to uh, uh, 203. Uh, this app's very precise. If you can uh, manipulate up to one degree uh, increments, even on the temp of the cooker. So we're, I'm just going to set it for 203 target temp on both. Uh, and then I'll start probing as soon as we hit 190s. And we'll see where we're at right about that time. Not sure how this, how this is going to go, but this is the first time. So let's do it. So fast forward to the morning time, guys. I'm drinking my coffee. I'm awake. You see it's Saturday morning, 7.06 a.m. Let's take a look at this brisket. It's been sitting all night long at 2.25 in this Bro King Crown 500 pellet grill. And I'm liking what I'm seeing. Let me bring you up closer here. Look at this beautiful color that we have developed. Uh, it's nice and shiny. Uh, it smells absolutely amazing. Uh, this brisket cook is coming along very, very nicely. I'm very happy with it so far. Uh, so this is a look at the hopper. This is how many pellets that we used overnight up until that point. Um, but again, it's not ready. 
it was rock it was rocking 160s internal temps but i was waiting until i hit the one the upper 170s before i pull it and wrap it and that's where we're at at this point this is what it looked like after the internals hit 170s the upper 170s uh, developed a nice looking bark uh smells fantastic we're just dripping deliciousness all over that butcher paper and uh man i can't wait till this thing's done i'm very impressed with this cooker it is doing a fantastic job on this brisket cook it really really is um i can definitely trust this cooker for overnight cooks uh that's the finished product right there guys i pulled the brisket at 200 uh let it rest for two hours if that helps the channel i appreciate you guys for doing that uh, I let it rest for two hours before slicing into it. And now it's time to slice into it. And again, we've got a flapper. And that's close to the edge of the flap. I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm, I'm going in for that taste test. Um, man, this, this brisket, guys. Deliciousness, I tell ya. I ate that whole piece. <laughs> So we're getting into the fatty part now, the delicious part. Uh, that's what the point looks like on the inside. Gonna slice some more before I flip that point and start cutting the opposite way. And this is my absolute favorite part of the brisket right here, the cross cut. Delicious, fantastic results. Nice, beautiful bark. Um, smells great, tastes great. That rub is something special. Get your hands on some of that from Arnie Tex, uh, the Pitmaster brisket rub. Fantastic brisket rub, you guys. Here's some burnt ends. Deliciousness, guys. Delicious. <laughs> Thumbs up. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, plenty more cooks coming. On this particular cooker, um, I'm running it through its paces. I'm very satisfied with the way that it handled this brisket like a champ, man, like a king, like a broil king. And so here we go, guys. That's it. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.